Good day. My name's Wilfred West from Locksport, Victoria, Australia. Welcome to Locksport, the home of online gaming, wonderful views, and Australian wildlife. I do hope you like these videos. If so, please subscribe. G'day, you all. How you all going? Now, it's a bit of overcast. I don't think it's going to rain, but if we, if we get lucky, it will rain. I'm going to start taking out these four rows of spuds today. I'll do one at a time. Just having a look. What we... Okay, so I'm going to do one at a time, so we'll start with this one. It's a Kipler, and that was planted on the 27th of the 7th, 2000. And 17. So I'm going to have some four, just dig up one row, um, count how many I've got, put it in its own bucket, dig out another row if I've got time today, I'll do another row, and I'll probably try to do all four rows if I can today. Uh, I won't worry about recording me digging them out, you don't need to see all that. Um, but what I'll do is I'll dig it out, put them into a bucket, count it up, and we can see how many I've done there. I have to go back through my phone to see how many actually planted into there and other notes I've got, and then I can work on how much how much I planted to how much I actually got out of that. I might try some other methods um, this year. I might try a hay bay method. Um, but anyway, once I've done all that, all these buds, I'm going to re reorganise this soil, refresh it out, and I'll basically just put garlic in here. Put a row of garlic, cup several rows of garlic in here. And we'll just let, it, let this spot the grow for garlic and see how well it grows. Anyway, um, yeah. Well, we'll just uh, go ahead and start digging it all out. And um, yeah, we'll see when they've got one row dug out. Row one is done, right, which is the Kipler. And we got a hundred out of that. Actually over a hundred, but it's, they're not all that big. But that's okay, it's over 100 in there. So that's row one done. As you can see the purple one is a lot, lot different colour. Um, and so we're going to get to the next row. We'll continue on. If we get all this done today, I'll be wrapped. Um, soil's pretty dry. Um, there's a couple spots down in here I found. A bit damp down the bottom a little bit, but it's not too bad. Still a couple of wormies in there, but that's okay. I'm going to, that's before, clean it all out. And um, we'll go to the next one. So that's 100 Kiplers. Our next row though. Hold on. Royal blue or... I'm not quite sure. Oh, I said 2016, sorry. This one here, it's the Royal Blue. That was planted on 27th of the 7th, 2017. So I'm gonna basically dig another center, dig another trench. I know how, much, how far I've cleared up to here. So anything between here and there, I know it's gonna be pretty much Royal Blue. And you can tell the different colors anyway by the um, spud there. You can see that spud there is definitely a different color. But anyway, we'll go to our next one. Okay, welcome back. Now, we've got 22 Royal Blue. Um, I think there might be some more in there, I'm not quite sure, but you can see the trench line of how I've done it. Um, the next one is the Dutch Cream. I think. That's the Dutch cream, so that's going to be in that row here, but I'm going to probably do the, um, do that row. I'll probably, yeah, just to, it's just going to be trying to figure out the easiest way to get to the Dutch cream, because they're right sort of smack bang in the middle. Um, because they do take over here, as you can see down here is a bit of Dutch cream poking through, but I'm not quite sure if I've got some more royal blue in here or not. But we'll find out. That's how the next one we're doing. Um, some of this soil I'm taking it out, putting it into the, um, wheelbarrow. Just makes it easy to dig out the stuff and also I can refresh it a bit better that way. Anyway, we'll continue on um, getting all our spuds out. Now, we've just finished counting this one, which is, where should I get the wrong one? Uh, this one here. The Dutch cream. 
that one there, we've got 50 in there. Which is not too bad, some are reasonable size, um, some aren't. The next one we're going to be doing is the Nicole. You can see that? That's the last one we'll do. We can see a couple in here speak, poking out. Now, the reason why I was saying they found some extra Dutch cream because they're on the edge here. And somehow they were planted there and they must have got mixed up when I was doing things. So it's, we're gonna, so basically got an extra three really. Three or four, I can't remember. So we've got 26 anyway there now. And we'll do the last one. And it still hasn't rained. Okay, last but not least, um, we just finished off this one, Nicole, or Nicole, yeah, Nicole. Uh, and we've got 80 of those in there. That's a lot of spuds for that one. Kind of a nice little collection. Kind of happy with that. So that's all done and dusted those buds. Take them into the garage, let them just sit there and they'll just dry out. Then we'll give them a dusting up and we can use them when we cook spuds. There's, these are fantastic, each one of these spuds are fantastic done in the oven. Or done, or done on a barbecue or something like that. Um, or even boiled, because they're just absolutely fantastic. When you have your own, yeah no, you can buy them in shops a dime a dozen really. But when you have your own, um, your own spuds and that, yeah. Well, the next step is I'm going to go through my photos and I'll work out exactly how many I put in each row. I think it was 14. Um, and we'll go from there. And I'll let you know at the end of the, each of the videos how many I put in or something like that. I'll do a voiceover or I'll just type it and put it on the screen. Don't look sure how I'm going to do that yet. But anyway, my name's Wilfred West from Locksport, Victoria, Australia, signing off. Thank you again for watching my videos and all comments are welcome. You all have a great day now.